Wait one sec. We're gonna wait for some people to join again. Sorry. We that was um. Lost. I don't know what, but. That was a. Uh, okay, so start over. We were. So we were in. Someone asked about how the XR is for touring. Oh, the XR is awesome for touring, and it even gets down in the canyons if you know how to ride. So me and Colette, Colette's an amazing rider, amazing rider. She gets down in the canyons too. She gets down at the track. She's a really good rider. She probably smoked almost all you dudes watching. I'll put money on that. This is how he makes friends. No, she's really good. Don't let her fool you. She rides really well. That's the reason I like her because she can keep up. And she's kind of cute. <laughs> but anyway, so we met. Uh, there was met about 15 guys. Are you talking about Nebo? Yeah, Nebo Canyon Road. Nebo Canyon Road. So in we, Utah, a bunch of guys came by on sport bikes. He drove one thousand um, CX6s. Actually, we we were stopped taking pictures and we saw them zoom by. So we were like, oh, let's try to let's catch go. up. Let's go. So we took off after him. We caught him in a turnout. We kind of met, fr made friends with them. We talked to them. They were showing us. One guy was telling us about his race bike that he crashed at uh, Miller Motorsports Park. So they took off. And um, this one's like, let's try to catch all of them and pass them. And I was like, all right, Which dude, we let's did. ride smart. But we did. Which we caught we did all, too. except for one, the lead guy. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm going to suck. They, got, they got passed by a girl with... 500 pounds of gear on the back of his bike. <laughs> I think it is probably a little bit funny watching me from behind. With and then we uh, ran into the cows. Gear. There was cows on the road, and we're all, I was like, whoa, slow down, baby. There's cows on the road. Yeah, big black cows. Yeah, not road. like one or two, like 10. Yeah, no, so so definitely a lot. Definitely and then, lot. Uh, yes, or not yesterday, day before, um, there were uh, big horned sheep on the road. Oh, yeah, we were in Valley of Fire, which was awesome yeah really cool uh, really hot over 115 degrees so kind of crazy but um there there was what six yeah they're all over the place yeah. they're on the side of the road Huge. standing on the canyon walls like they were just chilling they were chilling on the highway for some reason like what animals chill on the highway like they were just like chilling on the highway like what's up this is chill right here in the middle of the road yeah actually um two of them were mating when we came around the corner so the two oh, of them were, were mating I, see that. I asked you in the chatterbox i said do you see and you said yeah. Oh. So two were mating. No, so that's not what I thought you said. One. What you think I said? One hopped off the other, and they're all scurrying all over the place. But yeah. Oh, that's not what. I that's, that's what's not happening. What I heard you. Oh, I that's what was happening. No, I didn't hear you say that. Uh, yeah. So there were a bunch of these big horn. Big horn sheep. Sheep. Or like the ones that ram like into each other. Goaty, <laughs> on the road. But what was really neat. Hi, everyone from India. I get a bunch of like India, India. Hey guys. Um, so we're riding along and you could see them on the top of the mountain like looking down at you And they were like standing on like vertical walls too like yeah, oh, it was pretty cool. There? It was pretty cool If anyone's been to the Valley of Fire fire um, yeah. Kind of type in let it's us know really hot there. really it's really hot very cool totally different colors than you would anticipate so it was, it was really awesome, but um, so Toby asked what <coughs> mileage are we getting for the XR over 200 miles per tank per tank it depends on how we're riding them, actually. It depends on where we're at. Still on over wind. 200. No, not when we're bucking wind. Uh, when we're fighting wind. But you it's always. Like 180. So this guy likes to fill up the tank when we get to half full. He's like, oh, we're half empty. Let's find gas. Um, I'm a little bit riskier when it comes to that. Like, I'll wait a little bit longer. No, 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 don't hop. No, it's so true. So um, I like to have I my tank full so I can keep going. Right, I like yeah, to be like, so he oh, likes to stop well. regularly to fill it up. Um, so people are asking where we are. Uh, so we're in LA. We came back to do um, some maintenance to the bikes, do a couple things, and then probably heading out. Um, so yeah, so we've been streaming now for a little bit. So I think that we're probably going to sign off. This one was generally about packing, but um, if you guys like what we did, that's cool. Um, kind of wanted to see how many people would come and there's a lot to talk about when it comes to touring and just what we learned what we're doing all kinds of stuff um, did you do you carry extra on the bike we carry lots of extra stuff on the bike um, so ride and chill yep getting a lot of cool comments so thanks everybody um, but um, yeah so I'll probably I don't know, maybe do this again next week if you guys like it so thanks for joining. We appreciate it. Bye, guys. Cool. <laughs> See ya.